It was about three weeks after my 16th birthday that my life changed forever. A speeding driver put me in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I was out with friends and we were driving home and I remember coming around one corner and knowing that we were going a little bit too fast. And you kind of think that a little bit is okay, but it wasn't. The crash happened really close to home. As we were coming around the corner, I looked up and saw that I'd left my bedroom light on. And then we hit the pole. When we hit the power pole, I felt my back break and then I passed out. My mum actually worked in the spinal injuries unit. When I woke up, my mum said, you're in my ward. And I realised that, you know, I'd become paralysed. My brothers took it pretty hard. I think mum took it really hard, obviously. You know, parents don't want to see their children being hurt, right? The thing that sticks in my head is laying down, looking at the ceiling and not being able to sit up and having to wait for the nurses, like buzz for a nurse to come in to help you sit up so you can eat. So I used to do ballet and, and I still, to this day, dream about being, like, dancing. I remember the feeling of it and I remember the, the freedom of dance. So, so that's sweet, but it's bitter because you wake up and there's a chair again. You know, I've had kids, I've got married, but there are two things that, that were taken away. Um, one was um, walking down the aisle on your wedding day. The other one would be, um, well, after I have my kids, the playgrounds are all full of sand. So, you know, your kid's yelling out to push her on the swing, mum. Can't get across sand. To the people who think that just a few kilometres over the limit is no big deal, living the rest of your life in a wheelchair is a big deal. If you have no time for speeding, join the drive to save lives. Share this video with friends and family now. Authorised by the Queensland Government, Brisbane.